In 1945, in a small town, there was a large mansion that belonged to the Howe family. In the living room of the mansion, there was a tall antique grandfather clock that had been in the family for generations. Bill and Eleanor Howe, the current owners of the mansion, decided to sell the clock at an auction, hoping to make a good profit. Little did they know the clock had a dark secret. For years, the clock had been giving out deadly shots to unsuspecting victims who happened to be in the room at the wrong time. The clock was eventually sold to an unsuspecting buyer by the name of Jack Haskins, who took it home and hung it on the wall in his living room. Jack was delighted with his purchase, admiring the intricate carvings and the chimes that rang out every hour. But as the clock struck midnight on the first night, Jack suddenly felt a sharp pain in his chest and collapsed on the floor. The next day, Jack's body was discovered and the police were called in to investigate. The only clue they found was the grandfather clock still ticking away on the wall. As time passed, the clock changed hands several times, each owner meeting a gruesome fate at the hands of the clock. Some died instantly while others suffered for hours writhing in pain before succumbing to their injuries. Years went by and the clock became a legend, whispered about in hushed tones by those who knew its dark secret. But one day the clock turned up at another auction and a new buyer purchased it, unaware of its deadly history. As the clock was hung on the wall of Martin Belittle's living room, the chimes began to ring out and Martin felt a sense of unease, but he brushed it off, thinking it was just his imagination. There was a dead silence. As always, the clock struck midnight. The chimes rang out louder and more urgently, and Martin suddenly felt a sharp pain in his chest. He looked up at the clock and saw the arms beginning to grow out longer with a glint of metal as a tiny dark shot came out, fierce and pierced right into his heart. Martin collapsed on the floor, clutching at his chest and gasping for air. He knew it was too late, and as he took his last breath, he realized that the terror had started all over again. The grandfather clock had claimed another victim. The clock is still out there, waiting for someone new to fall asleep.